Hey guys, it's Justin from Dynasty Preppers. Today I wanted to take a look at the new book from Creek Stewart, Ragosa. This is his first fiction novel, and uh, we had the honor of uh, getting a pre-edition copy so we could read it. say I really love the book even as an adult I really like it this this is a fiction book that he just he created as theme for young adults so I wanted to read a couple passages out of there and talk about how it would actually help you and your um, in your kids get them kind of in the right mindset um, but personally I read through it just because I like to peruse things that my children um, read and I was blown away it's a really good book um, I'm really looking forward to the, the second and third books um, so I read the I read off the back of the cover what the actual book's about, and I read and wanted to read a couple passages out of the book, um, and it just kind of explains the themes that are built into the book itself. Now Creek's always been really good about including survival-based themes in his book, but this one here is is a high energy, very um, compelling story, and I think kids are going to really like it, uh, especially young adults like my older daughter Aubrey, ten years old. She probably would really love the story. Uh, it's got survival and the love thing mixed in together. And for a lot of kids, that'll just be great. <clears throat> so I'm going to read off the back um, what the basis of what the story's about. And then I wanted to read a couple pages out of the inside uh, to kind of give you a idea of what's included in it. So, All right, so let's read the back of the book here really quick. America doesn't exist, at least not as most remember it. The decision to trade insurmountable debt for sovereignty has led to an impressive rule in the World Union government, the WUG. Cities are being destroyed and stripped of resources. Citizens are being captured and forced into labor camps. Until now, Omaha, age 17, has been able to avoid the WUG's reach by homesteading with his mom and sister in the mountains of West Virginia. But when a WUG general gets between him and his sweet childhood sweetheart London, Omaha must face the reality of his new world once and for all. When London moved away two years ago, it was the saddest day in Omaha's life. He's loved her for as long as he can remember, and now faces nearly impossible circumstances. Just a young man himself, he is doing everything he can to provide for his mom and sister in an increasingly unstable world. Now he must leave them and make the dangerous 400-mile journey across hostile lands to save the one person he can't survive without. Omaha grew up in the Boy Scouts and spent his childhood learning timeless survival skills from his father and American Indian grandfather. Now with both mentors gone, he must call upon those skills if he has any hope of surviving the gauntlet ahead. Armed with only a backpack of survival supplies, a slingshot, and his grandfather's machete, this journey will test every aspect of Omaha. His physical and mental strength, his faith in humili humanity, his own will to survive, and the one thing he thought would never falter, his love for London. So that's the basis of the story here. Um, <clears throat> I think it's set really great in a post- it's not really post-apocalyptic, it's going to be more of a um, post-crash of the stock market and uh, finances in the U.S. And really, the book is really a drawing. You, you can't put it down most of the time. And it includes a lot of the pieces that I think are important to try to teach your kids, you know, being prepared, why you would keep some supplies around, those sorts of things. And I'm going to read a couple pages out of here um, from where uh, Omaha is actually packing his bug out bag to go on an adventure. And these are the kind of things you find implanted in the book all over the place, and I really like that. So let's start with that. <clears throat> a scout is brave, I whisper. I wish I was as brave as you. I know that the best antidote to the jitters is action, so I return my attention to packing what I'll need for the journey ahead. Shelter, water, fire, and food, I say out loud as if someone is listening. It's early spring, so I don't have to worry about a heavy tent. Instead, I opt for my thick, waxed canvas tarp. I can rig this tarp in countless shelter configurations, and it offers more flexibility than a tent. I wrap my wool blanket inside the tarp and then lash it to the bottom of my pack with a piece of leather strapping. This blanket has kept me warm during many cold nights hunting elk in the mountains. Shelter. Check, I announce. Fresh drink and water is essential. Symptoms of dehydration can set in with just a few hours if I'm not properly hydrated. In extreme weather conditions, human can live for three hours without shelter, three days without water, and three weeks without food. I plan on surviving no matter what, which, makes it, which means I'm not taking any chances. 
I fill my stainless water bottle in the bathroom and then pa pack it in one of the easy access side pockets on the pack. Once I use this up this water, I'll collect more from a river or stream and then boil it in the metal bottle for, to purify it for drinking. I also pack 24 water purification tablets. I brought a case of these from a, for the bunker a year ago from a disaster supply company that was shut down when the WUG took over. I figure these will come in handy if for some reason I can't or don't want to light a fire. Water. Check, I say, stuffing the tablets into the front flap of my pack. And so that's just an example from the book. Um, and you find little survival tidbits that are not really hidden but uh, implanted in the book all over the place and I think it's just great. I think, you know, if we're, as parents, if we're trying to teach our kids these um, tenets of survival or, you know, being prepared, it's nice to have somebody like Creek, uh, in my case, my kids really look up to Creek, actually echo those things, you know, you're three days without, or three hours without shelter, three days without water, three weeks without food. Even that little tenet right there in the, the book, I think is really great. And I think that's going to help you, you know, kind of enforce those things in your children's head that you're trying to teach them. Um, so for me, I think the book is well worth it. I think uh, the price on this is around 12 to $14 for the softback. And then I think it's less than five for the Amazon uh, Kindle version. So I'll put links to both down in the description box below. Um, I've read through it and I think it's, I, personally I'm going to let my children read it or we're going to read it to them. Um, so I definitely think it's good for young adults, probably 10 years and up or uh, slightly younger than that, depending on what you let them read. Now if you let them, you know, some things like in our school we read old classic English literature that is hands down much more descriptive and worse than uh, anything you'll see in the book here. So I personally don't have any problem with it, my kids reading any of this in here. but. I think it's great for young adults, and I think it helps support the survival themes that you're trying to teach to your kids. So check it out today. I'll post the links down below. Now, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel with the red subscribe button down the bottom below. Uh, like the video if you like it and share with your friends. And uh, try to get out there and teach your kids uh, new survival skills and help reinforce that with things like Rugosa. Thanks, guys. And don't forget to ask yourself, what have you done to secure your dynasty today? Hi, this is Justin with Dynasty Preppers. If you enjoyed the video today, please like and share with your friends. And subscribe to the channel. We have lots of other upcoming videos like these over here. Ask yourself, what have you done to secure your dynasty today?